And, and now after a really awkward part, which was super meta and bleeding my heart, we're going to, uh, I don't even know. Uh, um, we're in Vancouver. We're in Vancouver. It's no longer meta. Because, I mean, uh, we didn't even talk about Seattle. I mean, I, I think I tried to discuss uh, when I was a kid, I was brought there. Because uh, my grandparents are super cool. My parents are super cool. They're like, if you're if you're going to live in Washington and you're like that curious, you might as well like uh, state your curiosity. Because, I mean, um, uh, I, oh, I guess what I'm trying to say is I went to the space, you know, once yeah, as a so kid. Because I. Uh, I feel like anyone who has kids or like uh, any parent that has kids, they do that to their, they do that to their offspring because, uh, you know, it's like, if I had kids, I'd have to do it. it it's what I'd have to do. Because, I mean, like, uh, it, it, I feel like it's cruel to a point if you don't, if you have kids, you know what I mean? Uh, you have nephews, I don't know. I mean, like, I, I guess you leave it up to your, uh, your, your siblings to do that shit, but, uh, if they didn't, I feel like you'd do it as the awesome uncle that you are. <laughs> We didn't destroy that building. No, we did. Oh my god, we did. Oh, I, I should trust you more. I thought you didn't level it out, but you did. <laughs> you did. Mm -hmm. I forgot about sexy po posing bitch over there with the glasses. God, she's a nerdy hot chick. Yeah. But at the same time, I don't know what it is. I think it's the outdated graphics. We're going to Hawaii. I like Hawaii. I got a question for I've you. I've actually never been there. I, I have. I haven't been to all of them. I've been to Kona, though. Really? Yeah. Nice. Uh, I was 12 when I went there, so we're talking like a long, long time. Yeah, I mean, you'd still remember, though. I, I do. I mean, I was 12. I remember. Uh, they had the really cool green geckos over there. Oh, nice. Uh, I, I have to say this. I, I, I was able to catch a couple because uh, I, I knew where they went, even though I was in a hotel. I mean, like, I, I felt like one of those... Uh, one of those, uh, one of those naturists, uh, like, like, uh, I want to say Steve Irwin or something, but, I mean, like, that's probably not the best. I mean, I was just like, okay, so we got the green gecko that hangs all uh -huh. around here, and it was like a little, um, Like a Jeff Corwin or something. Yeah! Oh my god, that's yeah. an even better example. I used to watch him all the time back when he was, like, on Disney, like, a long-ass time ago. Oh. Uh, Jeff Corwin was, like, my idol back then. Cause I was like, I was like so jealous of the guy, but at the same time, it was just like an amazement. Cause uh, uh, I know I talked about going to, uh, I know I talked about going into like farming, which I think is the more realistic version of a dream job. But if I, if I honestly had to talk about my dream job, it would do it, it'd be doing what Jeff Corn does. Yeah. Cause I mean, just traveling around the world, observing animals, being like. Oh, here we have the two-toed sloth. <laughs> Here's some animal facts, and then, like, look at this thing. It's amazing. Uh, it's gorgeous. And it's like, I would love doing that shit. Mm -hmm. Dude, I would love doing that shit with poisonous snakes. Because, like, the proper handling technique, making sure you grab its head so it can't turn around by you, and then grabbing its body to make sure it doesn't fly all around. And it's like, I would love doing that shit. Mm -hmm. You know, the problem is, I'm not familiarized with it. Like, I know how to do it. Like, in theory. Yeah. In actuality, I have no experience doing it. Also, that was 20% or twenty off a night. That's a hell of a deal. Um, I, I don't know where I was going. Jeff Corn, or Jeff Corn. Uh, that guy, that guy is like my idol. Um... God, if I ever had the chance of meeting that guy, I would have so many questions. I think I saw him in, like, a news story recently that he caught, like, a huge fucking fish. Really? Yeah. Dude, man, I, I just have to say, I, I, I wish I had the chance of meeting that yeah, guy. Yeah, he was, he was really entertaining. I liked him and uh, Steve Irwin. Yeah. Dude, those guys, those are, like, my childhood heroes, man. Like, uh, I... I I mean, like, I guess anyone could claim that, but it's like being the animal guy that I am, it's just like, man, I never get to meet people like this, and it sucks, because, you know, if there was a convention, it's like, sure, and I'd pick anyone who does video games, because, you know, mm. i do it. I'm doing it right now. You, you're watching me do it. Uh, but it's like, then you have the other side where it's like animals, 24-7. Mm -hmm. That's my dream. Yeah. It's like... 
I'd pick that over video games. I would give up video games if I had some method where it's like I I ha I was given like access to eat, sleep, and it's like animals, mm -hmm. and it's like it's all I need, man. It's all I need. I don't need any of this shit, but I like video games. I mean, I mean, I'm not. If I could have video games, it'd be amazing. I'd be in like heaven right there. It's like I don't need anything else than animals. I mean, eat, sleep, breathe animals. It's like that. That's fine. Gelb is obsessed with animals. I get it. I get it. It's like, I'm sorry, viewers. Obsession is a terrible thing. Especially when it comes to animals, because it's like, uh, maybe, maybe I've hammered it in enough. Like, I'm, I'm a huge animal person. Uh, some people might not understand this. Some people might get it perfectly. Uh, to hammer in a point, uh, I let's play Evo, The Search for Eden. That's probably my favorite game, if I had to have a top ten. Uh, favorite games. Uh, it, it's it's a really good game for us, so many reasons, but it's not like the best game ever for a lot of obvious reasons. I mean, it, it, it's good. I I can't I can't deny. We were in Kodiak. That was Alaska. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of aliens there. Yeah. Uh, that that's so weird. Uh, sorry, I've just been going off my obsession. <laughs> it's like I I like animals. Can I just say that? Can I wrap it up? Because I feel like. I feel like, if not for you, this guy right here, he doesn't even tear. He's like, gosh, I get it, man. You no, like, I like animals. I like animals, too. But it's like, but, like, there's a difference between me and you. It's like, I have an obsession, and it's like, you like them. It's like, uh, it's like me just, like, being obsessed with animal me. facts. No, I get you. It's like... Number one passion. How about that? Animals are like my number one passion, and it's like there's there's no way I, I can get around it. Uh, more than video games, I would give up World of Warcraft. I would give up Final Fantasy. I would give up. Uh, I would give up this rampage. I would give up my Let's Play channel if it, if, it, if it came to animals and working with them for the rest of my life. Uh, that might be really sad, but, I mean, I, if, if I can just make that point, it's like, that that's how much animals mean to me. Uh, a lot. It's a lot. Uh, this Let's Play channel is really second when it comes to animals. Uh, like I was saying, Evo the Switch for Eden, I love that game. On, on like, a whole extent, uh, a whole different, um, perspective, just because it's so animal-based. Uh, I'm really debating about playing a game called Cubivore because it's really heavily based around like the whole fitness, uh, survival of fitness, or uh, survival of the fittest. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I do plan on playing Parasite Eve, the first one. Uh, I do have the sequel, and that was a collaboration with another fellow uh, Let's Player and, and family friend, but uh, I'm debating about... Ow. Gotta do it, man! That, that robot thing is, like, really fucking us yeah, over. Yeah, I know. Those things are fucking hard. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're not cool. I, 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 don't, I don't like them either. Uh, but we did it. We did it. We killed them. Uh, I was just gonna say, uh, I plan on doing Parasite Eve sometime. Really soon. Uh, that's all I'm gonna go with that. Fairbanks. Going with Fairbanks. Cal, we're already on 114. Nice monsters finish last. Don't worry, man. It's only three more. <laughs> Those three more are just gonna take forever. Yeah. Um. I don't know. Really, I've just been bleeding my heart and like leaking out all those really things, sensitive things that you do when you're drunk. Uh, part of the reason is why I do the whole drunken thing, cause it's like it's like this whole other just what the fuck are you doing? And it's not, it's not like a, a rambling vid, which is a new segment I did on my channel. Uh, although it's probably old and I'm probably on like a different game than Pikmin. Uh, at the time, I'm still doing Pikmin, but uh, now it's like, I, I don't even You're know. You're bouncing so fucking high. Um, oh, I got a question. Hmm. You can answer it. Uh, so, say I don't do Pikmin. Uh, say I move on to another game, because I, I plan to, you know. Uh, what what kind of game would you like to see? Oh man, you didn't know what I wanted to see. 
I, I don't. I want to see The Walking Dead Season 2. Well, I mean, that's not a Let's Play, though. I, I'm talking about, like, if I was just going to ramble on and not, like, pay attention to the game. Uh, I, I would have to get a list of games. Oh, fuck. I gotta press continue. Uh, well, I mean... I want to see some classic <laughs> Mortal Kombat. I mean, I guess that would work, but, I mean, I don't know how... That was one of the... Okay, we're oh on my two. God, we got we two. fucking two more. I don't know how that worked, but um, two more, man. Two more. We can do it. It's a marathon, dude. We're going to do it. We're, go we're going to mm. finish this up. Uh, I don't... I can't tell you, man. I wish I could. Editing this is going to be a nightmare. Even yeah, though I bet. That. Uh, do you want me to leak my heart out again? Because I go got for another it. topic for, for you. Even though... Well, I'm going to save it. Can you remind me to, like, bring this up in the next part? Will do. Okay. Um, actually, this is great, because uh, we need to... You know what? We got that. We're going to go to another scum lab real quick. That world tour, basically, is it assures us that we're getting straight onto the path to a new, new place, new thing. Uh, I feel like this hasn't got awkward enough, which is great, because, like, I, I can get really, really awkward when I get super drunk. Uh, anyone who's my friend knows this. Yeah. Uh, one of our fellow co-workers. Uh, I don't think he has a channel, so I can't give him a shout-out. But one of our fellow co-workers. You see, like, he had a party recently. Or, not recently. He had a party like a while ago. A real fucking long ago. You were there. You yeah, saw it. Yeah, I thought it was fucking hilarious. Everybody uh, else thought it was fucking awkward. I thought uh, it was no, hilarious. Sha, uh, Sha, uh, um, guy. I, I have to say guy, because, uh, <laughs> if I say his name, it's probably not going to be good. <laughs> um, I didn't say his name. It just says Sha. Sha is fine. I'm gonna call him Sha. His name is now Sha. Let's call him Shat. Sh Sh uh, Sha. Um, it's, it's Sha. Sha had a party like a long time ago. You tried to have a party this year. Uh, <laughs> Tijuana! Woo! We're doing party lanes! Yeah! We're gonna, uh, we're gonna like, this is gonna be our last it's town for um, beat up a thon. This, this, whatever. Uh, Sha had a party. Apparently, what Perez, uh, Cuervo, um, <laughs> Cuervo uh, Dipriano. Yeah. You mean Cuervo? Uh, Cuervo Dipriano. <laughs> Dude, look at this guy. Look. At this. Oh, I got the thing. How do I? Look do at it this again? person. I'm sorry. <laughs> they're just they're shaking the money maker because uh. That's what you do in Tijuana, right? You're just like, Woo! Spring break! Yeah! Spring break! Spring break! Um, going along with the awkward, Spring break! Yeah! Fatty, fatty, two by four. He's <laughs> running out the, uh, whatever. Anyways. Dude, man. Okay. So what was I saying? Uh, apparently there was an awkward party a while ago. Uh... Spider Mikey was there. I was there. We were like both just chilling, and I got like super awkward apparently to mm. everyone. Well, to like two people, I guess. Everyone else thought it was hilarious. Yeah, it was. Uh, Spider Mikey thought it was hilarious. Yeah. Uh, but everyone, uh, but like the, those two people were like, "This is fucking weird." It's probably because you're saying that it's not gay if you suck at somebody's cock. No, 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 no. I, I gotta rectify this. Um, oh, yeah. I said it's not gay if someone sucks your dick. Oh yeah. Uh, but I, let me rephrase. Let me let me clarify. Like, say it was in a more forced tone where they just rip your pants open, like open, and they just start going to town. Well, yeah. At that point, you're just getting like. That's I mean, it's not really gay. No, that's right. I mean, like, really, if you're at that point where you don't care. Or, like, if you're sleeping, half asleep, sure, it's not consensual, and sure, you can, like, claim it's rape, but, it, like, it starts going into that weird territory of, do you let it happen, or do you <laughs> just stop it? And, I mean, if it's really good, you're just kind of letting it happen, right? I mean, if you're in that hazy moment where you're like, huh, this is weird, and then you wake up, well, then you probably swat it away, or you're mm. probably like, hey, get off me. I don't know. That's fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, next time, it gets even more weird. Mm-hmm.